Hi, it's Usman here, and I'm back to Tottenham from Manchester Series. And as you can see today, we face Stoke at home in the Premier League. Uh, normally, you think that's a fairly, you know, average game. It's going to be a tough one today. They're currently sitting in third position, I believe. So it's not going to be an easy match. I've already done all the team talk and everything. So all I have to do is do this button, and that'll be fine. So it's Larice Walker, Hummel, Sammer, Baines uh, as the back five, and Fellaini, Sandra. Valencia, Bale, Laurenti and Falcao, and that is our strongest available lineup, um, as far as I'm aware, you know, that's what I think it is. And we'll see, they've got some very physical players, and a former player of ours, uh, Carl Norton, Peter Crouch, um, don't think, oh, Wilson Palacios, obviously, don't think there's any of this, but uh, that's three of former players of ours, so we're hoping that they can't do anything. Peter Crouch, a very good player on this game, and I'm sure Kenwin Jones will also pose a threat, as well as... Um, Sinclair running down that left wing. It's going to be a really, I think it will be a really tough match. And uh, but I think it's one we can win. Uh, you know. So on we go. Kevin Jones caught offside early on. <sighs> nothing's happening. I hate it when nothing happens early on in the game. Man City taking the lead away at Liverpool. Um, we I rather Liverpool won that. Palacios, Zonzi, Baines makes the foul, uh, the, the cut tackle makes the foul. Back to Larice. It's good that we're keeping the ball. Larice coming f way too far out of his box and Crouch going close there. He should not be risking coming out of fire, especially when he's, you know, not gonna. He just needs to hoof it straight back down the pitch up to Lorente, like our tactics say. But our players seem to enjoy passing the ball around for some strange reason. Um, I really couldn't tell you why, but at least it's nice and, you know, it's been successful over the last, what, 14, 15 months? However long I've been here. So yeah, it's been a, it's been a fairly successful time, so uh, might as well keep going. Walters. And now I'm Zonzi. Palacios now. They're starting to knock it by. This is very unlike Stoke. I'm actually trying to go a bit more physical for this match, I am. Um, I, it has, isn't really showing. Uh, that's a terrible shot from Sinclair. No, I don't. Baines. Yeah, but it, re it wasn't really showing. But I guess it's because, you know, we're getting this very strong team. And I guess a lot of the. You know, the battles will probably end in pretty much deadlock on Valencia. Oh, he actually got a shot on target. Wow. Begovic. It's one thing I don't like about him when he cuts it side. I've told him not to. He still does it. You know, here's Baines, Falcao, Lorente, Sandro, and Zonzi. Walker. Lloris gets it now. So, you know, it's been a you know, fairly average opening 15 to 20 minutes. Uh, nothing really has happened, but um, apart, apart from that one minor scare when Larissa is miles off his line, there hasn't really been much to worry about either. So that's a that's a positive because Stoke are a good team and they're a very good team this season. Um, in the game, oh, Fellaini should have scored. It's a side netting. That's probably our best chance yet. Um, but yeah, so yeah, um. Not the most exciting game, but you know, I'm kind of happy with that we're not. No, you know, we've been solid. Okay, nothing's really happened for a while, so I get a bit bored. That's what I don't like uh, when it starts taking a while to load up the next um, thing. It does get a tiny bit boring, but you know, sometimes games just don't have many chances. We do have the goal finally. Valencia comes in, finds that, and you know. It is sometimes good when he comes in off the wing, but not when he runs runs with the ball off the wing. I like it when he's at that back post, ready to stick it in to an empty net or, you know, with an easy chance to stick it in. I like that from Valencia, and that's, you know, Ruiz does that as well, but I think Valencia just does it that a little bit better. And he's also quicker, Valencia sets up more as well. You know, Bergovic gets it away, but only as far as Valencia, just, that's an easy finish for him. And you know, considering it's been a you know a tough game so far, I didn't think we'd get that 
I think we get goals so easily, but uh, we have, you know. Um, so yeah, it looks like we're going in at half time 1 0 up. Um, just coming up to it now, we have got one more tactic. Can we score again? one more tactic? I don't know what the word is, I do. I just can't remember it. I'm always forgetting my words. Bale, Walker, and now Crouch, can they score? Just before half time. Highlight, that was the one. That's the word I was looking for. So it's Valencia's goal that's the difference. He scored a few this season, so uh, I think I might do like a team report thing um, soon. You know, just to see how. Maybe I might do it halfway through the season, just to you know show how everyone's getting on and anyone who needs to go, maybe, or you know anyone who I need to sign up to a new contract, stuff like that. That'll be a whole another episode. Um, but I might do on them probably approaching January time just before um, so that we can get those players on the transfer list that we don't need or want or who are just you know who aren't really doing anything and who may cause problems afterwards the uh, team's looking quite uh, bad at the moment looking complacent uh, and stuff like that in fact I might just take a look at exactly what everyone's feeling so a lot of people looking nervous um, it seems to be our more experienced players who are looking nervous. Um, well, when I say more experienced, I mean like, you know, Falcao, Bale, uh, Baines, uh, Hummels, Walker, and Lloris, and Fellaini. Uh, whereas, I don't know, I don't want to say younger because Sandra and Valencia and Lorenzo aren't exactly young. But yeah, and I think Bale, Bale, Walker, obviously, two of the younger players. Hummels also is fairly young, I think he's like 24, so I thought them are like, you know, fairly young, but, um, you know, it's, I don't know what the word is, um, it's not like newer, but, oh, Samba, should have scored there, I don't know what the word is, that word, but, um, you know, you can see that Sandra Valencia, it's not less experienced necessarily, it's more like, only just burst onto the scene, if you know what I mean. Which you, you expect them to be more, you know, you know, Sandra only just burst on scene last season, Lorente the same, Valencia only when he went to Man United did he, you know, really start getting the stuff he deserved, and even then he's not really getting what he deserves, you know, all the praise, he's a fantastic player. And now I'm sure he is, um, Bale, oh, there's a nice little curling one, but just not enough, uh, you know, Power, God, I really can't get my words out today. And Zonzi, Walters, Palacios, Pennant. Now, Luis did well to save that, but um, I was getting a bit worried there when he palmed it out. You know, it wasn't exactly where I wanted it to go, but it did end up with Bane, so it's okay. A lot of players looking nervous and anxious. I really don't know what to do when my players get nervous and anxious. Um, Sorry if it's really obvious, but if you could help me with that, um, when your players get nervous or something, what, what do I do? Do I switch up the tactics? I don't know how that'll help, but if it does, then I don't know. Now it's 2-1 to City, uh, Liverpool pulled one back. Um, we're just going to make a couple of substitutions now. In fact, I'm going to put Ayu there, because I know he can play there, and... Lucas there, because those two need to come off really. Um, and I'm going to put Nanag by all as well, for Lorente. See how that happens. See how that goes. Um, hopefully, Adam by all can grab a goal, or Falcao can grab a goal. Some, if we can just get another goal any, from anywhere, really. You know, it's a very, very tough match. So, uh, Valencia is the only one looking confident, everyone else is looking nervous, very nervous, or composed. Samba's looking composed now. Are you? I brought him into that central role. He's only he's never played in the centre for me, so we're going to see how he gets on. It's a good start, let me tell you that. Not the best pass, but a nice little move from him there. Yeah, and obviously we're now missing the Fellaini, which is a bit annoying because he has got that height. I should have really thought about that. I might not have brought him off. He's got that height and that kind of defensive presence as well as being a good attacking player, Fellaini. So uh, he did have a yellow card though. But maybe I should have thought about that before I brought him off. Um, Sometimes they just make rash decisions, and that was definitely one I, I would apologise for that. But I use, you know, he's had a good 
Dude, he's had a good game so far. Um, he's definitely been the best player since he's come on. Uh, he's just been moving that ball around nicely. And yeah, Walters now though. Wilkinson, Palacios, and that's a good tackle from Ayo there. Okay, he didn't follow up with another good tackle, but he's not necessarily a tackler, so I'm happy that he's got that tackle in there. Because, you know, I, I wasn't really expecting that kind of stuff from him. Peter Crutch and Cameron Jones have been dominant in the air against us today. Well, I can't really expect anything else, really, can I? Um, Sam was good in the air, but I think he's up against Crouch. And, you know, I expect Sam to win a few, but, um,. I'm not, definitely not asking him to win every single one. That's it. 1 0 win against Stoke. I'll take that. It's, it's, it is 3 points um, against a good team. Um, let's just take a look exactly where Stoke are. Oh, I thought they were third. They might not be now. They're still third, exactly. So even when they lose, they're still able to stay in third position. So after 10 games, we have 30 points. We've won every match in the Premier League so far. That is, a, that is an insane start. Let me tell you, we've almost scored. 30 goals as well, so it's almost 3 goals a game. City have actually scored 32, but they've played 11 games. Um, he has 17 shots, 9 on target to Stokes, 12 and 5. Had slightly more possession. I'm pretty sure, yeah, we deserve to win, you know. But uh, Stoke definitely proved a tough battle, no doubt about that. Um, I'm not sure when the next match is, I'm just going to check now. Uh, I think we might have an international, I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure we have an international break now. Um, which is good, I guess. I don't really know why. It's not really good, is it? Actually, I don't know, it doesn't really matter. It has to happen, let's put it like that. And so our next match is on the 23rd against Cardiff, away. So our first match against Cardiff. Um, uh, and they're, they're a newly promoted side. We did play Wolves, who are newly promoted, beat them 6-1 earlier. Have we played the other newly promoted team? No, who is the... Oh, Blackburn, of course. We've still got to play them. We've got a while before we can play them. Um, and then we have a really, really... After that Cardiff game, we have a really, really tough... Um, is it five? Yeah, five games. Um, Ajax away and Everton away. They're going to be the two easiest teams to play, but they're both away, so that makes it very, very hard. Um, obviously. And then City away, City at home, and then Bayern Munich at home. I'm confident we can win all those, you know. Um... Maybe not a Capital One Cup because my strongest team will not be going up out for that match. But the rest of these matches, I think we can win. You know, I think we've got, got the squad. Um, we're playing with good football. We're just beating Stoke one 0 which is a tough win to get. Um, you know, we've we're on a good run since losing to Bayern. We scored six twice, which is a definitely positive. Yes, they're not against the best teams. Uh, we scored three twice, which is also good. We've been grinding out results where we need to, um, but overall the season's been good, yeah. Um, obviously the only downer I've had this season has been this one. Oh, it's gone to that match. Well, yeah, obviously you can see we got that last minute goal through Andre Ayew, who has been, you know, he's been a good player since coming in. Yes, he has 13 tackling and he was going mental when he made that tackle. He's not an Australian attacking player, that's why. But actually his favourite position is that central midfield role. So that is interesting, isn't it? Very interesting. Um, yeah, obviously the Ghana player. I'd love to, love to manage Ghana at some point in his career. You know, they have such a good squad at the moment. You know, if you look at it, um, to do with the what's his face. Um, As and oh, it's Anthony Allen, isn't it? Uh, and Asamoah Allen isn't real. This is what this is why I've i called oh he was called this is my favourite player um, at the moment Quadro Asimov I just oh, I cannot get enough of him he's such a beast um, and obviously um, Anthony Annan used to be Asimov on my channel but that's changed now um, what was I going to look for um, oh yeah see in the this game, so I know he's at some random club in the Middle East somewhere. He is, but he's just not in the team. Okay, but they've still got him, and you know he's not bad. Um, why would you move that? I just find it so boring. To be honest, why did some of them sell him more? More to the point, was he not enjoying it or something? I'm not quite sure. 
this is actually dragging on a bit. Um, is there anything else I need to show you urgently? Oh, I might as well show you the league table. That's the one. Um, I'll also show you the player stats because we're 10 games in now, or we are. A lot of other teams aren't. We're 11 games in now. But, um, yes, yeah, so we're also at the top with 30 points. Uh, also, still, as long as you keep your we can in the bottom three, I th we're going to look really, really poor this season. Only one win and eight losses out of 11 games. Liverpool are down there, you know. But last season they were down there and started to come back to it. Same Newcastle, they're down there as well now. They were up there a bit, but now they've gone down again. Arsenal mid table, United are starting to come back into it. Everton are down low. And you know, we've got Reading, West Brom, Stoke, Cardiff are up there. So yeah, um, and I also want to show you the player stats of course. So, Dan Ben is flying away with this. He's got 11 goals, but you know, we're happy with Falcon on 8. Um, I'm not sure what our next closest is, but look at this. Assist Bale 6, Valencia 5, Lorente 4, that's really good. Lorente's actually got that highest average rating in the league. Bale and Samba are obviously up there as well. Also got all our players with the most games. One, Boyce, oh, what, a, what a beast. Definitely the most underrated player in England in my opinion. He is so, so good. He is literally unreal at, at times. Uh, for me, I think he's literally one of the best in the, in the league. Uh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say he is the best. But uh, how do I get to this overview? Here we go. Goals. So, um, who else is up there for for our team? Adebayo's in there with four. Um, Samba's up there with four as well. Oh, Baines has got three. Ah, oh, that's going to end this episode. Thanks for watching. Please leave a like if you did enjoy the video. If you didn't enjoy the video, uh, please don't worry. I hope to see future videos. Um, most of all, thank you for watching, and I will see you most likely later today. And I'll see you next time. Bye.